Hello everyone, and welcome to our universe. Today we'll be talking about brown dwarfs. So brown dwarfs seem to be a rather elusive yet common thing in our galaxy, and a lot of people don't quite know exactly what they are. Are they simply a massive planet, or a small star? So let's jump right in and talk about brown dwarfs. So we know that stars are common in our galaxy, and we also assume that planets, moons, asteroids, and comets are also common. But if you were only able to scan the Sun's neighbourhood, what exactly would you find? Well, one thing that you will probably find is a lot of brown dwarfs. These brown dwarfs seem to be just as common as the average type star. These objects seem to form in the same way that stars form, in a collapsing cloud of dust and gas. But they are unable to shine for billions of years. Brown dwarfs also have a lot of traits that are common in planets. It seems that most of the brown dwarfs are roughly the same size, about the same size as the planet Jupiter. Comparing brown dwarfs to a star, they seem to be very, very cold. They seem to develop atmospheres with clouds and methane, and in some cases can produce water. So in this case, they seem to resemble more of planets than they do of stars. But, a planet is formed in a disk around a star, but brown dwarfs do not seem to develop like this. So they're like planets, but they're not developed in the same way as planets. A kind of grey area between a star and a planet. Brown dwarfs are a relatively new discovery in our galaxy. So why have they been hidden for so long? Well, brown dwarfs are actually very cool, and therefore do not emit a lot of light. So therefore, it's very hard to see them, even if they are very close. They do seem to, however, emit a little bit of infrared wavelengths. Astronomers have specialised equipment that can discover these types of objects, which seem to be hidden from visible light. Modern astronomers have actually uncovered hundreds of these objects just in the Sun's neighbourhood. And we now believe that in our own galaxy, there is a ratio of two brown dwarfs to every star. So if there's a hundred billion stars in our galaxy, you can easily figure out how many brown dwarfs are really out there. So, I hope that's given you a great insight into brown dwarfs the object that seems to be halfway between a star and a planet. And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.